Welcome to today's Mindset Monday. Thank you so much for coming and sharing some time with me. I love and appreciate you all. So today we're talking about gang mentality. Yes, having being a part of a gang is part of a mentality. Hence why I'm wearing my God is Gang shirt today, right? Shout out to Ciroc. Um, Love this shirt. It's so loose. Her stuff always sells out so quickly. So... I had to get something that was like three times my size, but I love it. It's so soft and it feels really luxurious. Like this is a really quality shirt. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> and it got me thinking because I was watching the news and they were like, oh, um, so-and-so's ganging up. You know, it's election time. So they're talking about politicians ganging up on each other to get stuff passed. And I was like, man, you know, every single time when people talk about gang, and my brother mentioned it to me too. <laughs> that's That was another correlation. I was like, okay, that's the third or fourth time I've heard someone getting ganged up on. But every time when you think of the word gang, of course it carries a negative con connotation. When you look it up, it says a group of criminals or an organized group of criminals or something like that. But criminals automatically. But that's used as a noun. If you look at it as a verb, it's like a group of people ganging up or teaming together, forming a group to rise above, okay? When people think of being in a gang, they automatically feel more confident. They're like, I, got, I know I have a group of people that's going to have my back, right? A lot of people say the police are the biggest gang there is, right? They all form together. Look got each other's back regardless of what's happening regardless of what's going on but i'm on a social media platform created by billy carson called unite the 99 and it's meant to unite the other 99 percent of people who are outside of the one percent's bubble <laughs> okay and it got me thinking the 99 percent are the biggest gang there is not the police, not the politicians, not even the 1%. Even though they hold the majority of money and wealth and they control the narrative and the matrix, right? Your outer world. When I say the matrix, I don't want you to think of, oh, but your outer world, which is what's considered the matrix, your physical world is controlled by other beings. But your internal world, your mentality is controlled by you. That's sparks of your spirit. So when you think, okay, I'm not alone because the biggest separation, the biggest illusion there is is separation. When you think you're separate from someone or from other people or no one has anything in common with you, you feel very isolated. You don't feel very empowered. Although you're the only one who can empower yourself, you don't feel that empowering energy. You feel like if I go take a stand, no one's going to have my back. You feel like Kanye. But when you learn to transmute it and realize, wait, I have a gang, which is what Ye <laughs> is realizing. Ye realized, hold on, although I want my community, I'm part of a bigger gang. And the gang that I'm with, I know they're going to have my back. I know I'm going to be able to do X, Y, Z. So don't feel that you're alone in certain things. There's so many things that we have in common that unite us, that unite us. One, we all take a shit. <laughs> we all breathe the same air, regardless of its density. We all have to interact with this world. And we all have little quirky things that make us unique. There's more things that unite us than keep us separated. And when you realize that, you won't let the narrative that's trying to be pushed affect you. You will not see food shortages. You will not see effects of war. You will not see your community being desolated. You'll rise to a different experience that correlates with the gang that you're associating yourself with. And you'll walk around commanding their respect because you know you got a gang behind you. You know you got a posse behind you. 
the gang I affiliate myself with is the goddess gang. <laughs> yes. But that's because we are all gods and goddesses within ourselves. I choose to exercise in this lifetime my goddess energy. But I still have plenty of god or masculine energy within me. But when you're balanced and you know, okay, I got a a a whole gang behind me that's just as balanced as I am and can express our divinity and can command the energy and the outside world to shape and mold around us because you are the center of the universe. Don't let anyone tell you differently. You are the center of your own universe. Universe, Y-O-U. You, inside, innerverse. You know the language is all messed up and jacked up, but they still gotta give it to you so you can participate. So they can easily siphon your energy. That's why it's controlled by the outside. So stop falling into the illusion of separation. Stop letting these people tell you that you're not worthy, you're not worth it, you have no one that cares for you or loves you. Of course you do. There's different levels of love. And I send love to everyone. Everyone that resonates on the same level of vibration that I do, that believes in the righteousness of humanity and believes in being a righteous being themselves. I don't care how you express that. I don't give a fuck how you express that. It doesn't matter. The labels and the boxes that they try to put us in, I don't care about that. Because I know how I can interact accordingly because I'm in control. So I don't care how you express that. But if you are a righteous being and you're part of this righteous gang, I always have your back. And you have millions, billions of other people that have your back too. Do not be afraid to speak up. Okay. That is all, wealthy family. Don't don't get caught in this illusion of a clusterfuck. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't let people try to stir your emotions and try to make you feel small and try to make you feel like you don't matter because that is not true. All right. I love you all. Until we connect again. Oh, by the way, happy birthday, all my Scorpios. <laughs> Scorpio season, y'all, wow, I have a Scorpio. I have a November Scorpio. And I have a lot of Scorpios, my nieces. Oh my gosh. I have a lot of Scorpios in my in my vortex. <laughs> and y'all season be lit. So I'm ready to see y'all kicking it off with a bang, right? It started on Sunday. And today uh, is, the is the Monday to set off the true energy for the ending of these the months um, of this year, rather. Then we have the new moon on Tuesday. Then we have a solar eclipse on Tuesday. Um, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, um, Mercury's getting ready to uh, just listen. There's a lot of astrological energy happening now. I just wanted to point that out. And if you stayed with me this far, if you're on my website, I sent a blog out with things to do around this time. Like, there's a lot of epiphanies, there's a lot of information with relationships, that's what Venus is um, handling, working on, and, oh my god. Anyway, I love you all, I'm rambling, I'm going now. I love you all, be great, and until we connect again, stay alert, stay aware, and live in love. Peace.